you go. This is the first time staying here. We've lived in Colina for two years. We watched this place get built. We're excited to go hit up this pool. Welcome to Koalina. This is located on the leeward side of the island. Koalina is a resort area built on four man-made lagoons. And if you are planning a trip to Oahu, you might be considering this. So stay tuned because we have a full guide coming up for you so you can know what to expect and decide whether it is the right spot for you. Hi, this is Erica with the Hawaii Vacation Guide. I've got my husband Jordan with me and our two kids and we are gonna show you around Koalina and give you a tour. Let's jump right to it. Who is Koalina right for? So on Oahu, you got three main resort areas. You got Turtle Bay, Waikiki, and here in Koalina. We find that Koalina is best for families who just want to relax. You want a nice calm beach at the lagoons. You want to be able to chill out at the resorts. And you're not worried about having to drive like 45 minutes to get to a lot of activities and things to do around the island. Like a lot of the viewers that we talk to, they like Koalina either for just like spending like four solid days here or still making a nice launch pad to go out and do a few activities, which is good. And don't get me wrong, it's good for couples too because you got plays like the Four Seasons, but Erica will talk more about the hotels. All right, so let's talk about the resort and which one might be right for you. All right, so the Four Seasons up on Lagoon One, that is for somebody who's lo looking for a very luxurious stay. It is a five-star resort with five-star amenities and it is, it's, it's pretty nice, I will say. Next, also on Lagoon One, you have Disney's Aulani. That is great for people who are fans of Disney. So it's a much bigger hotel. It has a lot going on. We're staying there right now and every 30 minutes there is another character meet and greet or feeding the fish or there's a beach house and there's a luau. There's just a lot happening all at once. All right, you can download the mobile app and this tells you everything that is going on, where to find characters, who's here. We are gonna find Mickey. And so if you are a Disney fan and you want a ton of activities within the resort, that's the place for you. And then down on Lagoon 3, you have the Marriott Koalina Beach Club. This is more for a relaxed resort experience. They do still have some resort activities, but it is nowhere near the number that they have at Disney's Aulani. I will say, I love this resort because it is the only resort located on Lagoon 3. So here on Lagoon 1, as you can see, it's a little bit busy with two hotels on that lagoon. Marriott's great because it feels a little less overwhelming. You can kind of have a chill beach vacation and we really like it there. So that was a quick overview. Now we are going to show you each of the hotels and talk a little bit more in depth about each one of them. Ready? Go! <laughs> You ready for nap time? Mm-hmm. Yes. Henry's ready for the pool. Pool time, buddy? So a little bit more about the location on the leeward coast. So Koalina is in a large resort area. We have a Koalina guide on that, so you should make sure to check it out. We'll link it in the description below. But it can be hard to get out and go do things and explore because it is a little bit further away from some of the major sites on the island. So that is a drawback if you want to get out and explore a lot. You are about an hour from the North Shore and about 45 minutes from Waikiki or downtown Honolulu. That could be a drawback for some, but if you just want to hang out at the resort and relax, you might be okay with that. Here on Lagoon One, we have the luxury resort Four Seasons. So the Four Seasons Oahu delivers a five-star experience. Absolutely. You walk into the lounge and you are immediately greeted by a very serene environment, which extends through the entire property. So here you have multiple pools. You have an adult's pool, a kid's pool, and a pool for everyone. You also have plenty of activities to keep everyone of all ages entertained. So you have torch lighting and stargazing and canoe rides and stand up paddling. And then you also have the kids club kids for all seasons. And the club is complimentary. You have a luxury spa, a fitness center, and plenty of room to roam. Plus tennis courts, which is fun. You have fine dining on site, including Mina's fish house and other options. Plus, since you are on Lagoon One, you are just right across the street from the Koalina Station Shopping Center. So you can go to Island Vintage Coffee or Monkey Pod or whatever else you are looking for. One thing to note though, that being on Lagoon One, 
that means the Four Seasons shares it with the Disney Aulani, which makes this lagoon pretty crowded. But you can always find your beach chairs and find your spot or walk along the walking path to one of the less crowded lagoons. If you do stay at the Four Seasons or anywhere in Koalina and you want to head out and enjoy a boat experience, we do recommend Koalina Ocean Adventures. We had a great time snorkeling with them. They are just a fun crew, a fun boat, and they take you up the Waianae Coast, which is absolutely beautiful, and you get to snorkel just off Electric Beach. So click the description below, and we have a link to that snorkel tour and our whole review and write-up of it so you can learn more about that. We are at Lagoon 3, and you have Marriott's Koalina Beach Club here. So here, you have both timeshares and the resort, which is behind me, and in the resort, they have studios, all the way up to two bedroom villas. So those come equipped with kitchens and it makes it really nice for families. Multiple pools, you can rent cabanas or beach chairs out on the lagoon and it's a really beautiful place to bring your family or just yourself, whatever works. So check the link in the description below to book and to find out more information about this hotel. All right, and if you are coming to Koalina or anywhere on Oahu, be sure to check our itineraries at the hawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu. We have excursion days that take you out and about around the island on a planned out route to help you have an amazing time. People love them and we hope you will too. Welcome to the Disney Resort, Koalina. We're checking in right now at Disney's Aulani Resort and we're very excited to be here. Here at the Disney Aulani, you have vacation rentals on one side and then a hotel on the other. This place is really popular for families, of course, because it's a Disney resort. You have the character breakfast, you have the character spread throughout the property that you can go visit. Lots of activities for the kids and the whole family. And you got a Keiki Club. That's a club for the kids to hang out at. But the main thing is this epic pool that's right below us right now. You got Lazy River, water slides, aquariums, snorkel spots, lots of pools. That's why people come here, is for the pool and for the Disney experience. And it is right on lagoon number one, so you can have the pool and the lagoon just right over there. Let's go! <laughs> and he's talking to me. It's time to hit the Lazy River. Push her into the river. There you go. Lazy River, here we come. Navigating the river. Watch out for that current. Strong. Ready? Set! Go! I know someone's going to ask, and I don't blame them. I'm sorry, they do not provide pool passes or day passes here at the Disney Aulani or any of these Koalina resorts. But the beaches are all public, as we mentioned, so you can still enjoy Koalina and a lot of the amenities they have here, because the beaches, in my opinion, are the best part. <laughs> Woo! Let's talk Koalina pools. Here's my opinion about the pools, all right? Disney's Aulani, best family pool, clearly in Colina. You got the Lazy River, you got water slides, you got splash pads, you even got a small dog pool, you have a fanny pool for the kids. It's what you expect from Disney, right? But I gotta admit, the Marriott has a nice pool. It's a very large pool, great for kids, has water slides too. So if you're looking for a little quieter experience, but still a good pool for the kids, the Marriott is a good option for you. And then of course the Four Seasons, they have a classy pool. It's a nice, beautiful circular pool with a great overview of Lagoon Number One. So, a little different. This little overview of the pools. Personally, I think the Marriott pool is the best one for the price and what you get. I think it, it's up to snuff. It's fun. You want the GoPro? There you go, man. It's all yours. One of my favorite things about Koalina are the walkways. So unlike what we have on Maui, these walkways are actually large and spacious and multiple people can walk. The walkway connects all four of the lagoons and the resorts. So you can just walk from resort to resort, lagoon to lagoon, or just go have a beautiful morning walk, which is what Jordan and I used to do when we lived here. You can run a full loop in five kilometers. We are at lagoon number three right now. So when they developed this place, they blasted all the lagoons out using dynamite, which I don't love for the environment, but boy, 
You got some pretty lagoons here. They've been here since the early 90s. It's nice and calm. They're connected to the ocean. They're only about eight to 15 feet deep. Sometimes you can find fish in here, so some people do do snorkeling. It's a great place to learn how to snorkel. Great for kids. It's like super calm. You don't get big waves in here, even when there's big swells out in the ocean. And there is four of them, right? So if one's busy, go to the next one. My favorite one is lagoon number two, which is the next one over. There's only some timeshares on there. So it's a really quiet lagoon. And a lot of local residents love lagoon number four. So a few more things. All these lagoons are open to the public, like all beaches in Hawaii. There's public parking, but usually fills up by nine o'clock. The biggest public parking area is lagoon number four by the marina. You find lots of parking there, or you can park in the marina for $10 a day. So one nice thing when you drive into Koalina at the Aloha Gate or the Aloha Greeters is they show you how many parking spots are available at the public parking lot. So it gives you a good idea what's available at each lot. You can also wait at the gates to see if a car comes out. It works. Like here in Lagoon number one, it's public parking, but it's really limited. You only got a few spots. But you gotta come out here, check out lagoons. Even if you're not staying in Koalina, this is worth coming out for. That's why we have a full Colina day or this side of the island day in our itineraries. So these lagoons are great for kids or anyone really who doesn't want to deal with waves but wants to get in and swim. When you say at the resort, they provide beach chairs right on the lagoons. And if you're not staying here, you can probably rent a cabana. Not positive on that. But if not, just park yourself on the beach. One tiny drawback Colina is on the landing path for Honolulu Airport, so you do get a lot of planes flying over. A lot of places to eat here. One of the nice things about being in each lagoon at Colina is there are restaurants and places to eat at each one. So here you have options like longboards and longhees that you can go for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And then at some of the other lagoons, we'll show you the other dining options. Colina. You park yourself out here on the Leeward Coast. What is there to do? It'll keep you busy, right? So there is golf. They always have an LPGA tournament out here. So the Colina Golf Course is really popular. There's Paradise Cove Luau. There is also a train that leaves from Kapolei and comes all the way to Colina, stops for ice cream. So that makes it a lot of fun. There's also the Koolina Marina right at the end with fishing chargers going out from it. There's Koolina Ocean Adventures at least from Koolina Marina. Great snorkeling trip plus sunset. Click the link in the description below to learn more about those tours. Let's talk vacation rentals here in Koolina because there are vacation rentals, not just hotels. Right now, we are walking to the shopping center. It's about in the center of Colina. It's got a little bit of shopping, but nice restaurants, especially for breakfast. We're in a monkey pod right now. Right now by Merriman's. He has these restaurants all over the islands. It's always a good one. They have happy hour from 3.30 to 5. Great deals for happy hour. It's usually half off of poo-poos or appetizers. And they also have good beer on the menu. During happy hour, they also have live music at Monkey Pod, which is really nice. A lot of the restaurants around here will have live music for you. Monkey Pod by Merriman's, known for its lilikoi, it means passion fruit, Mai Tai. Always good. Thank you. And that's for me. Where are we going? We're coming. Here it is. Thank you. Cool. In Koalina, you have a number of different dining options. So not only do you have dining in each of the resorts, you also have this shopping center full of restaurants. So right now we are at Monkey Pod, which is a restaurant by Merriman, enjoying some fish tacos and their famous Mai Tai. You also in here have Island Vintage Coffee, you have a taco place, you have ice cream, you have an ABC Island Gourmet Market, so you can pick up sandwiches and pasta and other things, so there are plenty of options for eating. For your breakfast, you have eggs and things and Starbucks. There it is, buddy, let's go. You feel the ground shaking? Me either. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, you did it, Henry, you did it. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
They suck it, buddy. We are checking out the Aulani right now, but make sure you check out our playlist on Oahu. We have a link down below for all of our Oahu videos. And remember for our great Oahu itineraries, go to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu. We hope you have a great trip to Hawaii. If you chose Koalina Resorts, you probably won't go wrong. Thanks for watching.